hello welcome to the stream very early stream today uh mr scatman how are you how's it going Ruth Dev, how is it going, man? I can't really talk too loud because there's people sleeping. So I got to be a little bit quiet. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm starting to code my Discord JS bot. Nice, man. I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna put this on my sick monitor. Awesome, yeah. I'm gonna be up for probably like two hours. I'm gonna get off. I don't have work until like nine, nine a.m. So I have like working like five hours and stuff. So I could do. I'm gonna be on for like five hours, but I'm just gonna like code a little bit. I, w I really want to work my app. So just to show you guys an update. So. Node.js, Docker, Python, databases, salary, eighty-five thousand per year. Add some tags. Then we'll add Python, Docker, databases. And then we'll click submit. So then it's going to do like a little timeout, and you can see that it says job listing created. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, so what are you planning on doing with the doing with the jobs? Um, yeah, so we can pretty much create jobs and you can see over here I can apply right over here And if I click apply, there you go. We have applied perfect So I want to make the UI a little bit more, you know friendly. So obviously right now the button is disabled. I can't click on it I'm gonna create a job right now. And so looking for an entry-level programmer specializing with Java Ideal candidate will possess the following skills Java All right, and then we can do something like salary ninety five thousand per year and we can give some tags Okay, there we go. Let's submit it. Okay, so now we can't click or edit and then it resets everything and then uh, You can see there's a little thing over there. Okay, so now I can also apply to this job as well And I can also go ahead and search for the job So that job will appear full stack Probably nothing. Oh, there we go. If I type docker data base You'll see that two of them appear. Uh, Pranshu, welcome to the stream. What time are you? Ha what time is it for me? It's four or four a.m. Okay. Yeah. So we're making a lot of progress with this app. So what I want to do is I want to build out like a a search for users this time. So. Right now we have a search for jobs, but we want to have a search for users. So we're gonna create the backend API for that first. That's exactly gonna be very simple. But I think what I'm gonna do instead for searching, I'm probably gonna create an entire route for it. So this will be like the search API. Yeah, for you, yeah. I don't know if it would work up properly, but you could do like a fade in for when you click the button, so it looks nicer. Well, what kind of fade in? Uh, Faultix, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I have to be a little bit quiet because people are sleeping here, so. So I'm going to create a search route. So this is going to be used for searching for jobs and it's going to be used for searching for users. By the way, I was learning a little bit of Docker earlier today, 
I can't wait to actually use it for my production app. I'm very excited. Uh, yo, what's up, Jean LaRose? How are you? How's it going? Looking forward about routes and react. Yeah, I gotta make that video. Uh, react router video. I gotta make that video soon. So this will be the search API, and I really wish I you was using Swagger. Whoa, ooh, that's that's freaking awesome. It auto formats, prettier is nice. When are you going to post a video that talks about deploying React app? Oh, you know what's funny? Uh, so I have a new collaboration coming out soon, and the video is about deploying your React and Express app to the server. It's about 45 minutes long. It shows you how to deploy the React app, how to deploy the Express app automatically. So when you make a push to GitHub, it will automatically deploy it. It also shows you how to appoint a domain to the app and also shows you how to secure your app with uh, SSL certificates so you can have a secure website. So that video, I'm not sure when it's gonna come out. I already made the video already. So it's up to, uh, it's up to them to upload it. So I just thought I would tell you guys that I have a new uh, collab coming soon with, uh, why don't you use Vue? Uh, I don't know. I don't really use Vue that much, but I mean, I'm definitely going to use it at some point. I mean, I don't like jumping around frameworks. Like right now, I want to build this app first with uh, React. Once I'm done with this, then I'll move on to maybe Angular or Vue. But yeah, I hope you guys will like that video. It's a deployment video. I think it'll help you guys out a lot. Just try the Arela JS Ruby beta. It is much better. What makes it better? I haven't used it yet, so I can't really tell. Don't forget to like, boys and girls. Yo, make sure you guys dislike this video. I want everyone to just dislike the video. Just drop a fat dislike. Have you ever used WebStorm? Actually, uh, I've used it like once, but I actually have it. I don't I, I, like I have a license, but I don't actually use it. I actually have IntelliJ Ultimate, but I don't really I don't really like it, though, compared to uh, compared to Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is nice. It's better. OK, so we're going to have a search API. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. Can you do a tutorial on how to give a role ban permissions? Because I have not found a single good video. So um, I have a Discord JS version 12 tutorial plan for next month. I told you guys this, that I was going to do a Discord JS tutorial. Uh, I, I didn't say when, but I had a plan for October because that's when, um, that's when the, uh, what's it called? Intense gateway intents are going to be required. So I, f I figured it makes sense to just start all over again. Oh, no, it's like really dark over here. Is this but angle better? Have I ever used Firebase? Not, not, not a lot. I definitely want to use it more though. Yeah, Discord JS version 11 is going to get dropped, so it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to use it after. 
So you have like literally a month to migrate everything until then. Okay, we're gonna worry about the user's API here first. And create a new search control. Why is getting dropped? Well, I mean, I guess they don't want to maintain it anymore and they'll force everyone to use version 12. I need to learn JS. What do you mean? Don't you know JS already? What does range error in that field? Yeah, what Jean LaRue said. I mean, there's really not that much in version 12 to really learn about. It's like, it's fairly straightforward. It's really not that, it's really not that complicated in my opinion. So I don't think you guys should really fear it too much. It's really simple to migrate over. Maybe one day I'll do a live stream. If someone has a version 11 Discord project in Discord JS, and if they want to share it with me, uh, maybe next month when Discord JS version 11 gets dropped, I'll be more than happy to do like a live stream on how to properly migrate all your code. Uh, but there's a couple requirements. The project itself cannot have, you know, any database connection. It has to be just a simple project that you know has like some basic moderation commands no database though because that's just going to conflict with a lot of things so if any one of you guys has a, a project I'll, more, I'll be more than happy to do a live stream on how to properly migrate can you check the linux channel and discord server uh, i'll take a look at it later the coding clouds what's up man how are you okay so we want to perform a search on the user so we want to search based on the ID, or not the ID, the username. So we're going to have the username passed in as a route parameter. Okay, so this is going to be get users um, username. There we go. If you guys are not on the Discord server, definitely uh, check it out. The link is in the description if you guys want to join.
Yo, Francis, yeah, just uh, join the Discord server and, uh, you know, you can post one of your questions on the, uh, on the channel and then someone will definitely get to you when they can. Raspberry Pi 4. I actually hate Raspberry Pis, if I'm being honest with you. Mostly because you don't really, you can't really get any good operating system on there. I mean, Raspbian and Noobs, I don't really like them. I prefer just having a Linux server, if I'm being honest. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm probably going to end up building my own home server. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, spawn a bunch of virtual machines on there. So I can like virtualize every single app. I mean, there's probably no point because I can just use Docker and containerize everything. So... Okay. So we need to go ahead and make requests to our API so we can make sure that it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. There we go, perfect. So it'll return the user, awesome. That's, that's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. Actually, I got it. So when we make the API call, Hey Anton, what are you currently coding right now? Uh, I'm working on my jobs application. So you can search, you can basically create jobs, you can apply to them, you can search for them, etc. I used to host all my websites, bots, and CD on a Raspberry Pi. I've heard of Paradactyl. I don't know what it is though. It's like what a panel or something. I don't know. Thank you, man. Yeah, so I'm kind of almost done with like a prototype. And then once it's done, I'm going to deploy it onto the virtual private server. Mm, I see. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. Yeah, Docker is amazing. I need to really like invest a lot of my time into learning Docker. It's actually really freaking awesome. I was like, I was actually playing around with it. I really, I really like it a lot. I really like it. But I definitely am going to use Docker to uh, containerize this app when I deploy it onto the server. Like you see, I have a Docker file over here right now. So I was playing around with it. It's really freaking awesome. I love it. Can we have a video on Docker? Definitely, yeah. Yay, webcam. Yo, Gaming Gladiator, what's up, man? How are you? 
Lua. Um, I don't know. I don't know about Lua. I mean, I, I would have to get like a lot of people to really. I mean, maybe I could probably do like a crash course because I, I definitely want to make like those types of videos, like you know, Python in one video, Java in one video. So I'll definitely consider Lua. Can we? Yeah, after I dove into Docker, it made me just want to Docker. Yeah, Docker is amazing. Yeah, everyone's like asleep right now, so don't expect like a response like instantly. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Why is it a, uh, huh? Why is it a, uh... I don't know why this is like, that's very, that's very annoying. That is uh, annoying. Is there a way I can fix this? I mean, I don't mind this so much, but damn, it sucks. It's 4.22 a.m. for me right now. 6.21, damn. This is really uh, annoying. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's pretty annoying. Maybe I'll just group it, who cares? That's fine. So we can change it from jobs and users, and then as we type, okay. So this is gonna be, allow us to reuse component instead of having to create a new uh, route to do all of this. Let me change my music real quick. It's 10.24 a.m. in Germany. Well, good morning to you.
I want the uh, Why is this thing a value is not? I hate that so much sometimes. Uh, Kunal, how are you? I'm really surprised you haven't blown up yet. You make coding videos are more advanced and different than other coding YouTubers, especially JavaScript. Um, I don't know, that's subjective. You know, uh, maybe someday. I'm okay with, uh, you know, slow growth. I'm definitely okay with that. But yeah, thanks man, I appreciate it. I always try to, uh, I always try to, you know, just do advanced stuff, I guess. Yo, what's up, Leonardo? How are you? It's been a while since I've seen you here. Good morning, how are you doing today, Leonard? I know this looks really ugly. So I have to figure out a way to style this. Oh wait, I just realized something. For the backend API, when we search, we're not gonna search for um, just one user, it's going to be multiple users because let's say if they just typed Anson, it should give us all users that uh, have that substring in their username. Just realize that. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need pagination for this. How are you doing today? I am doing okay. Could be better, but I'm doing just fine.
Oh yeah, TSX is just a TypeScript version of JSX, really. That, that's really all it is. Is TypeScript different? Yes. Not by a lot, but it is a little bit different. I think we're going to use a query parameter instead. Yeah, we're going to use a query parameter instead. Okay. It's going to look really ugly. All right, have a good one, Eugene LaRose. Take it easy. Yo, Florin, what's up, man? Holy shit, yo, what's up, Florin? How are you? Have fun. Yeah, I'm having fun right now. And it's nice seeing you here, man. Uh, I want to go into learning some other languages soon, but for now, I'm just using JavaScript and Lua. Yeah, definitely go look into uh, maybe some Python and Java, maybe. Uh, yo, what's up, Hopes? How are you, man? How's it going? In the future, I want to learn some other useful ones like HTML and C++. Well, HTML is not really a language, but you can definitely pick it up in a day or so. It shouldn't be that hard. probably create separate functions for this but that's fine all right so if q so if there's no query string we'll send that okay we're gonna need to search with a regular expression so let's see Okay, so this is going to search the database for a username based on the regular expression. So it'll match, it should match pretty much anything. Let me double check. HTML is a language, it's just not programming. Yeah, it's more, it's markup. Okay, so it'll match all these strings. That's good. Okay, so we don't, we probably don't even need a, 
case insensitive, yes, it should be case insensitive. Okay, awesome. Uh, Marius, how's it going? I'm doing okay, what about you? I'm gonna see if I can start up work or whatever this site is called for freelancing. And I'm gonna learn how to make shop website. Hey, look, if this app blows up, you guys can use this to freelance. I might in the future create a website for my graphics design. You should, you should, you should do that now if you have the time. What is the app for? It's basically a way where you can uh... Oh shit, wait. So it's pretty much just a way where you can create a job and then or a listing and then people can see it and they can apply and then you can take a look at it. So right now we have a basic we have something basic right now, we'll show you the job and it shows you whether or not you applied. We need to work on a couple things before we can actually deploy the app. So we need some kind of inbox system. So we also need to keep track of who's applying. So like if I am posting something, I want to see who applied and I can click on their profile. So we need some kind of inbox system. So we'll have to work on that. That'll probably like be the very last thing that we need to do before we deploy. Uh, yo, what's up, Sir Nub? How are you, man? What CSS framework do I use? Uh, well, for this project, I'm using uh, this one right over here. It's a pretty early, pretty new framework or library, whatever you want to call it, UI library. And I really like it. It has a lot of different things. So very easy to use too. Okay, so this should just return an array. Uh, it should return an array. Not sure why it returned. <laughs> okay, let me try something real quick. Uh, Abdul Rahman, how are you? Uh, YouTube prefix, how are you? What is that font? It is called Questrial. I'll give it to you in one sec. Uh, Questrial. It's a Google font. You can go ahead and uh, take a look over there if you want. Well, I'm asleep. I was going to show up for a bit. All right, hopes. Have a good one, man. Take it easy. Have a good night. Okay, so this, let me go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna update the username real quick. So I can make sure this actually returns an array. So it's only returning one, I'm not sure why. Very weird. Let's see. All right, have a good one, Sir Nub. Thanks for checking out the stream. I actually recognize your name from the, uh, the local host or the developer server. So it's nice seeing you here. Did my theme change? Oh no. Wait, why did my theme change? There we go. I was like wondering why it was this blue down here. Um, okay, so I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because I have find one. It should be find. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. If I change this back to... Change back to that. Should only give us one. Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. So now we can go in the front end, and if I do this, it'll pretty much just search for it, and it's going to show the results there. So if I do a uh, full, I click this. I should just do that. For users, though, the data is coming back. I think. Yep, there's one record. There's also another record. So we need to dynamically render. How long have I been working on this? Well, it's been, I think, about a week so far. 
I have all of the previous live streams where I've worked on this on my channel, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. Yeah, it's been like a week since I started on this project. I might just sit here and watch the whole time. Hey Amen. I ain't gonna stop you from doing that. People are starting to wake up and go to sleep at the same time, yeah. It's like really early for me here, so... One sec. So I think what I want to do is I want to just render all the users dynamically. So I think that's what we'll do next. So basically what I'm doing here, let me go over to the front end. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have job item here. We're gonna create a new component user item. Uh, Monthon Patel, welcome to the stream. Nice seeing you here. A lot of new faces here, that's awesome. Okay, so this component is just going to be a container that's going to show all of the users. Do I have Discord? I have a Discord server. The link is in the description if you want to join. It costs zero dollars to join, so anyone is welcome. Okay, so here is a problem. How do we know whether to render jobs or users? So we're gonna need to do this. So Uh, Scrap man, what's up? Cyx, what's up, man? How's it going? It is 4:45 a.m. here. Official chicken, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Abdul, how old? How old are you? Uh, why don't you guess how old am I? I always like to ask people that. Guess how old am I? This is like really spaghetti code. I'm gonna have to like fix this up later. For now, we'll leave it like this. I think I could do an if statement here. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Let's do something else. Uh, yo, what's up, Kinds? How are you? John Wood, great video on Traversy's channel and glad I'm not the only one. Is it? Yo, John Wood, what's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, I usually get up around 4, but my sleep schedule is a bit messed up, so I'm probably going to have to like, do a full reset. 
today. Uh, yeah, I'm 22. I'm turning 23 this month. <laughs> you guess 30? No. I'm turning 23 at the end of this month. Very close though. That's good. I'm good to hear that you're doing good. Yeah, like, you know, uh, I'm expecting a birthday gift from all of you guys. There's 16 of you over here. I'm expecting 16 gifts delivered to my house. Happy early birthday, thanks. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about turning uh, 23. You know, every other year is just passing by, so... Every other year is just passing by. So... I feel like, you know, when I turned 21, it was pretty exciting, but every other year it just feels the same, really. My gift house, don't worry. Wait until 30. God damn. I have a long way to go. He's gonna start drugs? Nah. I don't do that. I don't drink or do drugs. Uh, yo, what's up, love? How are you? That's weird. Not sure why it's giving me that bull. It's giving me that weird error. That is very weird. That theme is good, but too much red for me. Well, I make the red just from like my errors. You simple RGB color theme. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Yeah, I don't know man, like sometimes TypeScript just gives me these weird errors. Like parameter is fetching implicitly has any type, but right up here, it's Boolean, so I, I, I really don't know. I don't know how to fix that. What time do I go to sleep? Uh, so right now my sleep schedule is like messed up. So I'm just, I've just been trying to fix it. It's been a hard week, the hard two weeks for me. So I'm trying to fix it again. But usually I sleep at around like anywhere between 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'll fall asleep between that window and then I'll wake up uh, anywhere between 3.30 a.m. And the latest I would ever wake up would probably be probably 4.30. I usually get up in the morning you know, go out for a walk and do some work and then then I have to actually, you know, work at my job remotely. So uh yo what's up Ramez? How are you? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I mean last month, the past month I had a record of actually doing this for like four weeks. Cause it's very inconsistent. Sometimes I'll just go like four weeks straight. I'm able to just, you know, have a consistent sleep schedule. So it kind of just got messed up. It happens all the time. I'm not sure why, but yeah, I'm just trying to fix it up a little bit. Still not sure why I'm getting this error. Same schedule as me. Yeah. I mean, I discovered that schedule for me when I started working full time and it worked out for me. I really liked waking up at four. Everything's, you know, super quiet right now. Get to go for a walk. Get to see the sunset. I need to start coding straight for hours like you. Uh, so one thing, don't definitely, don't code for like, don't code for more than four hours straight. I used to code for like 16 hours straight. I would wake up at six and code all the way until like 8 p.m. Don't do that though. It's really unhealthy. Like you might be able to do it when you're young, but... As you get older, you know, you'll start noticing some weird things going on with your body. 
I ended up getting up at 2 yesterday and went to bed. So that's good. I wouldn't. I don't mind waking up a little bit earlier. Because, like, by the time it's the nighttime, it makes it very easy for me to just knock the fuck out. Like, if I'm really tired, then, you know, I'll just, like, knock out, like, really quickly. Uh, starting to improve that back and understanding databases and stuff. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're making progress. Did your parents ever say no when you wanted to be a programmer? My parents are very... Uh, they're not like your average stereotypical Asian parents that want you to be a doctor or an engineer. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I, I, I didn't even know what I wanted to do. So I just went to college and kind of just like messed around. Didn't really know what I wanted to do. And uh, I went to a different college after my first year. Uh, and then I just studied computer science and, you know, it worked out for me. They never really had any influence, though. They were just like, you know, you can do whatever you want. Um... Yeah, they don't. They don't really care. They don't really care. You know, they were really flexible. My parents don't even know what computer science is. They just know. They like whenever they ask me about, it, I, I just tell them, oh yeah, computer stuff. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Where did you learn how to code? University. Yeah, through my degree, I learned how to code through there, and. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for college, if I'm being honest with you. Not that you need college, but, like, if you're someone like me who doesn't know what to do with their lives, then, yeah, I think college could help. Um, yeah. Still not sure why I'm getting this weird error, like, that's so annoying. If I did something bad, my mom would knock my ass out. Um, yeah, my parents are very, very lenient. I mean, when I was younger, they were very strict, but as I got older, they got a uh, they were they're more lenient. Um, I mean, they just pretty much have faith in me that I won't do something stupid, and so far I've been okay. So, <laughs> yeah, let's just keep that up. Same, but it'll be my dad with ten bolts in a broom. Do I play any games? Uh, not really anymore. I used I normally play like Minecraft or City Skylines or just normally I play like simulation games. There's a there's a mobile game that I play. It's called BitLife. I've been really enjoying that game a lot. I'm just a fan of simulation games in general. I don't think any college or uni teaches software dev here. Are you making a website? Um, I'm making yeah I am making a website a web a web application for uh, job applications and stuff. So, yeah, okay, I'm not sure how to fix this part. TypeScript is just so annoying. TypeScript is so annoying. I guess that works. When you played Minecraft, did you ever make your own mod? Something you want? No. When I was a kid, I was like, when I was a kid, I didn't do shit. Like I literally skipped class every single day when I was in high school. I uh, yeah, I would, I would. There were there were times where I would go to school at like nine a.m. and then I would ditch after like the first period. I'd be back home and then I would just like get on my computer and just play video games for like all day. So I was a pretty, uh, I was a delinquent when I was a kid. I would cut class. That was the worst thing I ever did as a kid is just cut class. Do you know all programming languages? No, I don't. I only know a few. Uh, now I'm thinking about gathering people from my college interested in software dev for projects and stuff. That's good. You should definitely do that. Be more collaborative with other people. That's a good way to, you know, make friends. That's one thing that I wish I did more was being more active in college. So, where was your parents while you were skipping class? They were at home. Like I would literally just wake up and not go to school, and my my mom would just be like, "Okay, yeah, I was uh, it was pretty bad." I ended up graduating from high school with a terrible GPA, and I went to a community college. It was pretty much like a community college for a year, and 
didn't do so well in community college, but then I did okay the second semester. I did I did well enough to transfer to a much better school. And when I was there, like I just had a different attitude. Like I was much more studious. I uh, took it a lot seriously. And I didn't think I would actually survive computer science, if I'm being honest with you. But, uh, you know, I ended up surviving it, so there you go. I wouldn't be here if I didn't survive, uh, if I didn't survive college, so I don't know where I'd be. Let's see. Still giving me issues, I don't know why. There we go. I'm applying this here. Good luck, man. I hope you get into somewhere too. I'm new to website developing and stuff. I want to know. I'm pretty sure you have to host a website to make it online. Uh, yes, you can deploy it onto a virtual private server. Yo, Anton, how's it going? I've been on a coding test for 10 hours. I'm just supposed to break it. <laughs> That's good. And I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing well too. I'm like starting to forget my stuffs. What keyboard do I use? I use this keyboard right over here. This one right over here. This is my keyboard. Ducky one too many. I'm going to get a new keyboard though. This keyboard is red switches. And uh, I really want blue or green switches. I'm kind of bored of the sound if I'm being honest with you. I'm probably going to get like a similar size, but yeah. Yeah, it's a ducky. So if it's jobs, then we are going to render a jobs container right over here. Yes, right over here. Jesus Christ. I don't think the comments will, uh, yeah, in the, in the real world, everyone just opens up documentation. You know, that's the, everyone just opens up docs. Like no one really, uh, no one really, uh, rememberizes everything. There are some things that you definitely should obviously never forget like the basics but like most things people just like look at documentation all right let's see let's break and then the case for users all right so this should work just fine i'm hoping it does this hopefully this little change will uh will fix it all right so if not fetching well, I guess we can return. Everything over here. Ooh, shit. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted. Um, What plugin do you use for the folder icons? It's called 
uh, material icons. Here. It's an icon theme. That's what it's called. Material icon theme. My longest coding streak is probably four and a half hours. Damn, I don't even know what, how long mine is, if I'm being honest with you. Is there a way maybe I can do... I guess a nested ternary operator, but I don't want to do a nested operator though. I want to prevent that. So like, if type is... Okay, I think this could work. I think this could work. So at least I can get rid of this. How long am I coding for? Uh, four years. So that's when I first started learning. That's when I first started learning uh, programming when I was in university. Programming actively, I would say probably two years, two years now. Or maybe one year, really. I don't know. I mean, when, when you say how long I've been programming for, I really... Yeah, so the timeline is started off with university, learned, and then uh, I think it was my junior years when I started building my own applications. So, yeah. Yeah. So the types can always be either jobs or it can be users. This looks really messy. I gotta think of a better way to fix this. I have to think of a better way to fix this. It's like really, it's like looking like spaghetti code if I'm being honest with you. I'm not sure how I would fix this and make it look better though. I'd have to put a little bit of thought into that. Yo, Cursor Gaming, what's up? How are you? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's just my voice. I always give voice cracks. Quick question: I've used the same shitty chair for eons. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm being honest. I just use a DX Racer. Probably not the best chair out there, but. I gotta think of a better way to make this look better. I know I can reuse some variables, but for now I'm gonna hard code it just so I can make sure that this works the way I want it to work. And then after I can refactor it. Hopefully this works. I doubt it will, but we can use job item, I guess, to do it. Will that even work? Probably not. Here, let me do this. My first React project was full of spaghetti code. I feel ya, that's relatable. 
Okay, so it seems like that worked. I'm not sure why the first time it didn't bring it right though. It only does it for the second it only does it for the second time I click it. That's very strange. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it only returns it if I, I that's very weird. That is very weird. I found an awkward fact about Arizona and wanted to confirm. So does it have that town name nothing? I have no idea. Apparently it is. It, apparently there's a ghost town called nothing in Arizona. That's very, uh, it reminds me of like the GTA, like the, uh, the rural area. Like where uh, Trevor lives, I guess. That's what it looks like. Okay, so let's see. So we have an issue right over here. I need to find a way to... This is... I think I might need to decouple this. I'm probably going to keep it at a separate page because we have search. I think that's what I'll do instead. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do this. I think this is going to be very hard to test later, so I'm going to leave this all alone. So maybe we're going to have, uh, let's see, search page. So we can have two pages, jobs and uh, user search. I just don't want to keep, I just don't want this component to be bloated because it doesn't need to. What am I doing? I'm working on my jobs app right now. We're doing well, but yeah, I'm probably gonna have to make a, a new page for this because I don't want this to be such a bloated component because we already have a lot of stuff going on. So I might need to make another route. I really want to reuse the component. Like one for jobs and one for users. And so if it's users, then it will search for users, but. Maybe I'll do this. Screw it. I think this would be better. Uh, what's my favorite programming language? Uh, probably Java, if I'm being honest with you. What's my least favorite? Um, assembly language. <sighs> Vim stream when? Not anytime soon.
I feed on flush. ALP registers and stuff are forgot, yeah. Vim is hard? Yeah, Vim can be pretty annoying for some people. I think I got it. I think I got it. Do I know how to make a gen bot? I don't know what that means. Uh, Froomey, what's up? How are you? Uh, I'm making a uh, jobs application right now through me. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. Uh, make, an, make all in one bot? I'm not sure what that means. Are you going to do something yesterday in Crash Chrome? No, we're done with that. <laughs> Wait, why does it do this though? Hold on. Why does it do that? It logs the data here, so it should... It should just re-render here though, for some reason it doesn't. Oh, I see.
We set over here though, so why would that be an issue? Huh, interesting, interesting. I have elements per page up there. That's why it's slicing it, but it's, it's empty. But if I do it again, it's not empty. I think you got it right. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Back to the stream, yo, welcome back. I have a weird bug. Just trying to figure out what the issue is. It's very weird. It's the same component, but... I mislooked at it. So set total is zero. You have the current page, which is one by default, and the current page users. So we set current page users right over here. Users.slice. Okay. Everything is identical, but. You should do a setup tour and a PC specs video. I would watch that. Maybe someday when I get a better camera, I'll, I'll definitely do it. I don't have a tripod or anything like that. I gotta get one though. I'm trying to figure out why this is. I'm trying to figure out why this is so weird. It should be doing the same thing, but. That is so weird. It's the same component, but. This is so weird. I don't understand how I can find you coding stuff that I don't even understand is so entertaining. I don't know, maybe you guys like seeing me struggle because I'm struggling right now with uh, this weird bug that I'm not sure why. Like, it's only showing it when I search twice and we don't want that, but I don't know why that would, that would be the case.
It's the same exact component, so in theory it should just do the same thing. Though I don't know why it's not. It's the same thing. Or is it? This is annoying. So apparently that fixed it. That's so weird. That is very weird. That was that is the weirdest bug ever. But that fixed that fixed it. So Okay. Okay. Definitely very weird. Very very weird. Wow. I'm not sure why that would have been an error though, but whatever, that's fine. At least we fixed it, okay. So now we're gonna have to create the component for uh, user. So it'll pretty much just look exactly like It'll look exactly like job item, which would be a card. Probably don't need a footer though. The only thing we really need is the user's username. Definitely don't need HTML. And then over here, we shall go over here. And then we will turn the user item. But let me actually export that right over here. There you go. So we'll show like the avatar and everything. So what else do I have? Uh, let's see the avatar. I think that's really it. Just the avatar and then I think I think that should be it. it should just be clickable. Yeah, it should just be clickable. So let's see. I wanted an image, so we'll probably use this. We'll use the image component to render an image.
That looks okay. I'm not sure what else we can show, but I think this should be fine, I guess, for now. Um, I'll give. I'll style it later. It's not really our concern right now. There we go. It's not really the worst. I don't like how the alignment is a little bit weird. I think, but. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Uh, Rish, Rishi Raj, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. There you go. So it shows two. Now I don't have enough. Let me see if I can clone. I'm going to see if I can clone this a couple times. There you go. Oh, that works. Okay, so obviously if we had more data, it would just show all the users and then they would do pagination and then you can navigate. So we know that this works. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for user search. So we need to make it clickable. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably just provide a link to their to their profile. Well, actually, no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Oh, yo, what's up, Agent Gillspy? How are you? Is there a way I can hide this? What's a standalone? What is Stammery had on your channel a month ago? That's my nickname. Well, I mean, it was a name that I've been using for a very long time. So I decided to just go with that name again. I do have a lot of names. Is a database that's funny.
die, DB. I'll be back in 15, 10, 15. All right. No worries. How long do you think you we will be doing this project? Uh, I don't know. Maybe for... Um, it really depends on how much I work on it for this week. I really want to get a working prototype done by the end of this month. Well, not this month, but uh, maybe by the middle of this month. Did you decide to discontinue Quintana? Yeah. I was really enthusiastic about finishing it, but then I got really busy with work. So I kind of just like lost motivation. I worked on a little bit, and then I just, yeah. So it kind of sucks, but yeah. Okay, so this is awesome. So now we can actually search for users. So I need to fix this real quick. So now I can search for a user and I can click on view profile. When I click on it, it'll take me to this page. So over here is where we need to actually render the user's uh, stats. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be lots of fun. It's basically going to be uh, this dashboard. You're going to basically see. Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? Um, it's weird. Not sure what changed it. Uh, grenade visuals. What's up? How are you? I think it's because we have oh that's right because we uh shit wait no yeah i know why it's because uh okay give me one sec let me fix this real quick i know why Okay, so basically the users page is just going to show this. Uh, I'm doing okay, what are we working on? I'm working on my jobs app right now. We're making lots of progress. So, I'll have to fix this later, don't worry. So when I click on here, it should just basically take me to this page and show my profile over here. So. We're literally just going to copy the dashboard page. But the only difference is that we're going to fetch said users data rather than our data. So we're actually going to do this instead of the GitHub ID. We're going to go ahead and do the username. That looks good, not gonna lie. Thank you, I appreciate it. Give me one sec, I'm gonna be right back real quick. I'll be right back real quick, give me one sec.
All right, sorry, I'm back. Just had to go use the bathroom and then get some water real quick. Uh, TSX, yeah, it's basically just a TypeScript version of JSX. Some good water. What's the local time for me? Um, 5.41 a.m. right now. Yeah, I'm trying to grind out this app so I can get it done. Do you work or only YouTube? Uh, yeah, I work. Still satisfied with that clicks, not gonna lie, the keyboard.
speed and the speeds of the uh, I took pretty fast. It's like ASMR for some people. I have to, I might, I might have a reason to use GraphQL for this project. That'll be lots of fun to use GraphQL. What are you, you working on? Any real project? Yes, we're working on a jobs app right now. Since it shows your GitHub stats, it means the jobs app for devs. Yes, yes, that's correct. It's uh, prior, it's targeted for developers. I really loved your Discord bot tutorial on Traverse's channel. Thank you, Salman. Thank you. I appreciate it. How much is completed? I don't even know if I'm being honest. I, can't, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I'll say that we're very close to a working prototype, but I'm going to keep maintaining the app. Like I want to make it go big, you know? Hey Anson, can you help me please? I wanted to ask that. Sure, what's your question? I can try my best to answer it. So I was doing NPX. Okay. 
computer tapped. And yeah, what's up? I don't know why it was stopped in the PowerShell. Um, I'm honestly not sure because I've never had that issue. My only guess is, does your computer have enough RAM to run the uh, to run the script? Because it could use up a lot of resources. If I'm being honest. I'm not 100% sure. Do you have a plan to make a tutorial on Disco Bus? Uh, yes, I do have some videos on that. You can they're all they're all on my channel. Yo, it works, it works, it works. Do you guys, can you guys give me your GitHub names? I can test it out. Send me your GitHub names here. We're, we have to make it only search for users that are in the uh, that are in the database. So I'm gonna have to fix it later. You have zero repositories, that's why it's not showing here. If you create a repository right now, this will pop up over here. That's why it's not showing because you don't have any repositories. That's weird. Four gigs of RAM, that should be more than enough. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's why. Yeah, so we want to make it only search for people who are actually logged in because this will search for everyone. We only want to test the database, so uh, not the database. We want, we want to make sure that the users in the database and then once they are we're going to make all the api requests to the uh, endpoint and yeah uh does it have a language you need to make sure it has a language if if you're make sure it has a file make sure there's a file too make sure there's a file in there and then make sure uh, you create like a, a, a file that has like a language extension. So like for example, app.py or app.js. Yo, this is a good profile. Look at look at this profile. Like if I saw this profile, I would definitely want to hire them. If I saw that profile, I would definitely want to hire them. It's a really good profile. You see the, uh, looks good, looks good. I might fix up the font.
Mine's for example juice. You gotta work on it, man. If you don't work on it, then it'll always stay like that forever. It looks good. I like it. We got to fix up the uh, the u user experience though, because there's a lot of bugs. Well, not bugs, but like there's a lot of issues that we need to solve. So, I need to actually write some test cases for this app with Enzyme. I'll probably do that later. The next thing that we need to work on is manage jobs. Over here, it should show all of the jobs that the user applied to. Are you from CS background? How would you rate impact the, um, so the thing is that class will definitely help you out a lot with problem solving. So I think it's good. And I think, it, I think class like that will definitely allow you to enable you to think in a different perspective. So I definitely do think it's a good class. Um, so it's really hard to say. I definitely do think it's allowed me to become a better problem solver, even though if I'm doing like UI or something like that, I think there's a good impact. You might not notice it, but I definitely do think uh, it's worth it. I think every little thing that you learn can have a huge impact in the long run. That's just my, that's just my opinion. There you go. Every time I work on a project, I forget to push it. <laughs> There's a fucking spat show on Amazon fifty dollars. That's good. How much is this supposed to be normally? Do you recommend ClickUp? I only started using this a couple of days ago and I, I like it. I mean, it looks nice. Um, I'm not really a fanboy between Trello or ClickUp, but I just decided to use it because I didn't really, I don't know, Trello, I've used it for a while. I don't think it really matters too much, but I mean, I like it, it has a nice, has a nice uh, UI, so yeah. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of spatula, like if you buy one from Martha Stewart, 
<laughs> I think maybe it'll be a uh, must be used by Kanye West. All right, we need to work on the manage jobs UI. So we need a way to figure out uh, who applied to which jobs. So for example, if I apply to these jobs, I need to know uh, who applied to the job. So over here in the manage jobs UI, let me open up Figma real quick. We need like a little dashboard for the uh, the person who post. Is your PC AMD or Intel? I'm using an AMD computer, or my CPU is AMD, yeah. Figma is a great tool. I like it more than Sketch. I never you I never heard of Sketch before. But yeah, I just use it to like draw something out really quickly. I'm the worst when it comes to design, so. I'm not sure how I should design this dashboard for managing jobs. I want the user to be able to see all the jobs they applied to. And I want them to see all the jobs they've posted. Did you make a video? Uh, no, I didn't.
Uh, welcome back, man. How's it going? No worries. But yeah, we made it to this part. So we can search for users with this. Right now I can do a global search with the GitHub API, but we're only gonna make it so that it'll search if the user's in the database. So, but right, yeah, right now I'm trying to design uh, this page. I'm not sure I want to do this, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I can tell this is going to look really good. Thank you. I'm trying my best. When will your next React tutorial be out? Uh, probably by the end of this by the end of this week or next week. Oh, that does look so good. Have you ever thought of making a game before? Voice crack. Uh, no. Well, I have, but I'm not that good at it. I feel like you could possibly group... I feel like you and possibly a group could become very successful for me a game. I've tried Unity, but I'm not that good with it. Oh uh, yeah, Unity uses like a mix of C Sharp and JavaScript, Unreal, yeah, C++. I kind of want to use Java to make a game, just for fun, because I really like Java. I could probably do this. I could probably make it look like this. Let me show you guys something. This is LinkedIn, by the way, this is LinkedIn. So I could show, like, I can make the menu look like this. Apply jobs, job alerts, etc. That looks really cool. How often do I stream? Uh, I try to stream every day. If I don't stream, it's because I'm like really busy or I'm just tired. But it's really inconsistent. So I'm trying to make it 
consistent. But yeah, I don't have a set schedule. I usually just stream whenever. So I could probably make it so that you can see applied jobs, save jobs. But yeah, I try to stream every day. But I don't want to just have like one page for I might do this. I might do it right over here. Like I might create the component over here instead. Do you think you'll ever make a job about Discord Serial? Yes. I might do it very soon, actually. Because I I said to myself that I would do Minecraft plugins and uh, Java bot after the Java series, but that kind of failed, so I might just do it. I'm going to pull an all-nighter tonight just so I can watch a stream. I'm going to get off in the p a couple hours, so... I mean, I would say you should just sleep because that's more important. Why are only 17 people watching? I don't know. Everyone everyone is asleep, I guess. Do you know what rapper you would use? Uh, I would use JDA. Now I've got nothing going on today, so I'll just sleep later. Alameo. Where, where are you from? How do I, I want a, a horizontal, I want a horizontal. I want a horizontal menu. Iowa, nice. Damn Iowa. Uh, yo, Umer, what's up? How are you, man? Do you use Predator? Yes, I do. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about that configuration. I honestly don't know. It was just that one time when I installed it, it just worked that way. I honestly really don't know how to get it like that, if I'm being honest with you. It's 1 p.m. Where are you from, Mist? I want a vertical or horizontal. sucks Israel nice uh does it show I've tried seeing if I could configure it but I couldn't figure it out you look cool with long hair thank you man I appreciate it I'm actually growing my hair like my hair is pretty long right now I'm trying to grow it out all the way out to like my chest area it's been a while since I've had really long hair, but the last time I got a haircut was like eight months ago when I was in Arizona. It was a really long time ago. And especially with COVID too. I'm probably going to get a haircut. I'm, I don't know when I'm going to get a haircut though. I might leave it. I might just grow it out. 
Can you please explain to me about promise when async wait things Discord JS? I can send you a, a video about promises. But pretty much promises allow you to execute asynchronous code. And then you can actually use the value later on. I'll send you this video right now. Should do a good job explaining it. You're in Arizona right now. What part of Arizona? Yeah, I know. I got fans from everywhere. We got Israel. We got Sri Lanka. We got Australia. We got Japan. We got uh, China. Not China. Hong Kong. Uh, do we have anyone from Mongolia? Got some people from Russia. England. South Africa, maybe. Anyone from South Africa? I want a vertical menu. I want a vertical menu. I don't like it like this. I want a vertical menu. Our Anson is famous as fuck. Nah, nah, I'm definitely not famous. Maybe someday. Bangladesh, nice. Yeah, shout out to my Bengali people. Portugal. Uh, Sedona, I do know what I do. I do know where Sedona is. Yeah, I was in Scottsdale when I was in Arizona for. I was there for a couple days. Definitely going back there soon. Definitely going. I'm actually moving to Texas or Arizona. One of those two states. It's either Texas, Arizona, or Denver. Yeah, Sedona is very beautiful. I've never visited, but I. I've seen pictures before and it's really beautiful. Oh man, I can't flex box this. Yeah, that sucks. God damn it. Okay, this just looks ugly as hell. Yeah, this looks really ugly, if I'm being honest. Yeah, my city at one point we had the fastest growing COVID stats. Yeah, Arizona was crazy with that shit. You like Mac? I do like, I have a Mac, but I don't use it that much. But I do like it though. That was over a year ago when everyone was playing Fortnite. Is Iowa? I haven't checked the stats. Yeah, you're right, it's going up a lot, but... When I was in Arizona, there was only one case there. I guarantee you if oh man. we have 83 million tests here, that's literally, what the fuck? We've tested 25% of the population. There is 328 million people. So 
A fourth of the population have been tested already. Jesus Christ. Eighty cases every day. That's freaking crazy. Yeah, India needs to do more testing, and so does Brazil because, um, Brazil. How many people live in Brazil? Two hundred and nine million. India has one point four billion people. India has way more people. One point three. Um, India needs to test. India needs to be like testing a lot. They need more testing. Now, does anyone here believe that China has 90 has 90 million tests? Does anyone here believe that? Cuz I don't. And I also don't believe they have only 85 85,000 tests, only 85,000 confirmed cases. <laughs> How many people live in China? 1.3 billion people are in China. It's just sad. It's just sad that this uh, happened. In some ways, you know, uh, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. I love how wholesome this community is. Yeah, I like to keep it that way. I like to keep it that way. But if you guys are not on my Discord server, definitely join. We're trying to. We're trying to bring up activity in the Discord server. It's been pretty dry the past couple of days, so... But yeah. Uh, looks you're originated from China, Japan, are you? I doubt anyone here knows where I'm from. Or not where I'm from, where, where my family's from. I did a poll one time, everyone got it wrong. I'll do another poll. I'll do another poll. I doubt anyone here is going to guess it. I doubt anyone here is going to get it. Uh, what else is there? Here you go. You guys vote. I doubt anyone here is going to get it. I'm in your Discord server. Even you warned me. What's your name on my Discord server? Because I don't, I don't. There's a lot of people that get warned every day. Yeah. Zeus King? I don't even remember. Uh, Piyush, how are you, man? Uh, so for me personally, I can tell a huge difference between the different, uh, Asian ethnicities. I'm sure, like, I'm sure, like, if you were, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. For me personally, like, I can easily tell the difference between, like, Japanese, South Korean. For me, I can easily tell. Some people have a hard time telling the difference between the two, which I don't blame them. But, yeah. It's Malaysia. Last time I did a straw poll, no one got it. No one got Malaysia. It's because not everyone knows about that country. Not everyone knows about that country. How many people live in Malaysia? 31 million people live in Malaysia. Okay. Are we building anything today? Yeah. We're, we're doing some coding. I'm just like chatting with chat right now. So it's a little bit of, uh, yeah. I did say, yeah, I did say on the previous stream it was, uh, it was, I was, uh, Malaysia. I actually went to Malaysia eight years ago. I was 14. That was my first time flying to, uh, it was my first time flying. So, yeah. Yeah.
I might need to make my own menu. I might need to make my own menu. Because this kind of sucks. I don't like it. You look like Chinese or German? German? Where'd you get German from? That's guys from Vietnam. I'm in your Discord, but mainly asked for help. I can't even be active. So. Yeah, not everyone really uses. Everyone uses Discord JS instead of Eris. Eris is another library. Eris is another uh, Discord library that you can use to make bots. Stay away from errors. I've never used it before, so I don't know what it's about. I don't like this. I really, I really want to like, um, I'm going to have to make my own menu. Screw it. I mean, maybe I can just add a button. Uh, why bum bag? No, nothing special. I just wanted to try something out. Yeah, I'm not a good UI designer. You're right. Say how it is. I'm a terrible UI designer. I'm good with, uh, I'm usually, I'm more of a backend developer than anything. So it takes me some time to really get something good going when it comes to design. I might just create a custom menu up here. Or maybe I'll do this. What, what if I do this? I mean, what if I create like a side nav? It's gonna be fun. This will be fun. I could do something like this maybe. I could have like a side navigation bar and every single one you click, it'll just show a different. I think I could do that. I'm using Kai Cairo. No, I'm not really stuck. I'm just trying to like figure out what kind of component I should use to, basically I'm trying to create a manage, uh, like, a, like a page where you can see all the jobs that you applied to and you can see all the jobs that you created, but I'm just stuck on like, like how I should design it. You know what I mean? I'm just stuck on how I should design it. It's easy to get a job in the US as SE. 
Uh, I would say that if you have a good portfolio, you definitely have a higher chance, but it really depends. Do you guys think Discord.cpp would be a good idea? It could be, but not a lot of people use it, though. Yeah, I'm just not sure, like, how I should set up the menu, if I'm being honest. I just want a page to show all the, the jobs they applied to, that's it. I'll probably just create a, men a custom menu up here, who cares? Yeah, I don't want to do this, because it's just so bloated, I don't need to do something like that. I'll just create a menu up here, so... C sharp, yeah. What about global nav bar and the side nav? I mean, I could just put, I might honestly just put it up here. I wanted the menu just to be here though. I mean, I could put it up here, but. Which type of projects do we mention in our portfolio? Uh, honestly, it really depends. Put your best projects out there. Like put projects that you feel that you've put a lot of work into it and that have made a huge impact I might do a separate video talking about this someday. Bye, Anton. I'll catch you up. All right, Piyush, have a good one, man. Take it easy. Yeah, basically show projects that, like, show, like, you know, your ability. Like, the best skills out there. But I would say it depends on the job that you're applying for. Like, if you're applying for a JavaScript job or if you're applying for, like, a back-end developer job, uh, try to put more back-end projects. You can put some front-end. Um, but try to put more back in stuff though. What is the minimum salary in US? Yeah, it depends on where you live. In New York City, you can in New York City minimum I would say is probably like 80, 90k, but those are like companies that are trying to like lowball you. Average in New York City for like someone who's starting off, you can possibly get like a hundred hundred K. In Arizona, it's about eighty to over hundred K. In um in a city like Baltimore, the salary is probably like 70, 70k. Uh, yearly. Yearly.
when I was in Arizona, they offered me, I think, 83000 When I was in a different state on the East Coast, they, I was offered about seventy two k. So it really just depends on the city that you live in. Uh, Alright, have a go into me. Take it easy. Good luck with React. Oh, I have a new video on React, so definitely check that one out too. I think that'll be I think that one's a lot better. In California, you can get paid about like two hundred K. Well, I mean Silicon Valley, sorry. Like if you work but that's if you work for Facebook though. Facebook they pay their employees like two hundred, three hundred K. But then again it's Facebook. Are you doing an internship or a part-time job or something? Should I learn React too? Um, well, it depends. It really depends. Like, I think React is very popular, of course, and learning React will put you in a good position. Um, but don't just focus on the framework itself. Focus on the fundamental concepts. If you watch my latest React video, I focus primarily on the fundamental concepts, and you can translate it over into like Angular review. Uh, Joshua, what's up? How are you? Right now I'm working part-time. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean... At least I have a job right now, that you, and then, you know, right before college. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. What am I doing? I am working on my jobs application right now. Uh, question, how would I have find one return the only properties to find the model instead of TS Uh Yes, make an interface and cast it. That's what I do usually.
Uh, Danny, what's up? How are you? How's it going? Yeah, college is really up to you. I mean, I, I had a fun time with college personally. I think it's worth it. But if you have other, if you have other, uh, ideas, if you have other passions and go for that. What am I doing? I'm working on my job, jobs app right now. Do I do Python? I do, yeah. Not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, Douglas, I have a Discord. If you want to join, you can just ask your question there. Uh, all right, all right, just call me. No worries, man. I'll I'll still be here. Good luck with your game, man. Man, icons are so annoying to configure in this library. I hate that so much. I wish they just made it very simple like everything else. Okay, now it's giving me this error. Um, what's my first language? Java. Java was the first language. Yeah, I don't understand how to use icons with this. It's so confusing.
Oh, there we go. So that's how you do it. That's so stupid, though. Like, that's really stupid, but whatever. We have to add it here in order for it to work. That's actually really stupid, but there has to be a reason why they probably did it. Yeah, Java is pretty annoying, like the Maven stuff, it's pretty annoying in my opinion. And so are you planning to do more Discord Python bot? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't really thought too much about that, to be honest. So I'll have to think. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll like remake all my videos in Python. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't working, I would be making, I'd be making videos like every single day. And I would, I'd probably be streaming every single day a lot earlier than 5 p.m. So. Yeah. Two PM. What? Where were you from? Turkey and need your help with ticket bot. Can I do on Discord? Uh, just post your question on the Discord server, and someone will add, someone will help you out.
Uh, the code ring server. looks really ugly. What do you mean when someone helps, I'm getting an error? I mean, me helping you is no different than someone else helping you, so... If you're getting an error, then you need to be more descriptive with, with uh, you know, what they're... You have to be more descriptive of your issue. There we go. All right. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. So save jobs applied. Okay. So this will probably just take it to a different page. It will just take it to a different page. So you're going to view all your save jobs, all the jobs that you applied for. So we don't need like a separate, uh, a separate route for this. It doesn't make sense to do that. At least not for now. Uh, hold on, wait, yo, chill out. Uh, Ben, just do me a favor, just try to keep the discussion in English, because everyone's, uh, everyone here is, like, using English. I don't mind the language, just, like, I want to be able to interact with every single person, and I don't speak the language, so, 
you know, if you can just communicate in English, then uh, yeah. Sad Ahmed, I'm telling you right now, just ask your question on the server. Someone's going to try their best to help you out. If I see the question, I'll do my best to help you out. But you can't keep, you know, spamming the chat, demanding me to help you in DMs. That's that's not how this works. As much as I, you know, want to help people out, we can't we can't do it like that, you know. So just be patient. Like there's someone literally trying to help you out right now and you're just, you know, dismissing them, which is kind of rude if you ask me, you know, so. Uh, yo, what's up, Taro Spams? How are you? But yeah, like Pilfer is, you know, offering to help you out. So, you know, when someone is offering to help you out, then, you know, you should take it. When do you get that opportunity in life, you know? I'm doing all right, thank you. I can't join your Discord server. Um... What's your Discord name? Give me your Discord name. So you got banned for advertising. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I, m I remember what you did. Uh, Didi on three, what's up? How's it going, man? How are you? Wait, I'm confused. Saad, you said you asked your question on the Discord, didn't you? So, if you did, then what do you mean you're asking for the Discord invite? I'm confused. Did you ask on the server or where did you ask? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so you asked on a different server and you didn't really get much help because they probably didn't even know like the code itself. If you ask on our server, there are people who have actually did, you know, ticket bot and they could definitely help you out more. So if you just go on the server and you ask, if you ask, someone will help you out. You don't need to DM them. Casper, join the Discord server and ask your question there. Using bots f for streaming music from YouTube is breaking. Yeah, they uh, they actually uh they actually uh what's it called? IP Bandit. Okay. Well, the last time you asked was on August twenty eighth. So it's been what four days. So maybe ask again, and you know maybe someone didn't see your question, or maybe they did, but you know they weren't able to help you out. So just ask again. Will you unban me so I can join? Well, the, well, here's the problem. The reason why I banned you was because you came on the server and advertised a malicious website. So. I don't know if I can trust you. Especially this is my first time seeing you on the on the channel, so I don't even know if I can trust you. I'm a fan of second chances, but you know. Uh yo, what's up Connor? How are you? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? 
Let me let me let me show you guys some spicy drama. This is funny. I'm from the United States. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so funny. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's so funny. The guy's not even a moderator. Am I looking for a mod uh, at the moment? Um, well, I mean, it's not that I'm not looking for one, but we're always like looking to expand our team. So um, at the moment, we're not really looking for any new mods because we have a decent we have a decent sized team. We are looking for helpers, though. Like, so if you want to be a helper on the server, you can apply. So you guys should join the Discord server, you guys should look at the form, and then you should apply through there. We're generally looking for people to, you know, uh, just be a part of the community, I guess. We're, we're always looking to expand our team, so... Try to get the activity up, you know what I mean? I mean, we applied for, uh, we applied for, uh, well, I applied for partnership, so... I have to do everything that I can to make sure the server's active all the time. It's been pretty inactive the past couple of days. But you know, it's normal. You got all the people going back to school. You got people working and shit. So I don't really expect people to be on all the time. Well, here's the first step. Join the Discord server and then, you know, be active. Contribute. And then uh, we'll talk about, you know, applying for staff and stuff. I feel like it's always, it's always actions first and then... Then comes the rewards. Okay. See, so yeah, I'll do this. So, basically, we'll, whenever you click on these buttons, I gotta... Ch I might... I need to edit these buttons. They, they look really plain and ugly. So, I'll fix it up later. But, yeah. So, let me go and do this. There we go, so search. We'll fix this, we'll fix this. Um, I'll probably create two separate jobs. So we'll have search users. Did you ask on the server? I don't, I don't see you asking anywhere. Sod, man. It's impossible to help you. Because I don't see your message on the server. So. I, have, I haven't seen you. Message on the server. Yeah, so. Just post on the Discord.js channel. What's the problem? Are you even in the server?
Yeah, I see your name. So, but you haven't posted though, so. I can understand why he's like the YouTube is just coming in general. Hey man, that's all good. We're here to correct people. I'm gonna add a spinner. I'm gonna add a spinner. Awesome. Can you make a tutorial on Docker? Uh, at some point, I would like to. I, I'm not really that good with Docker just yet, so I'll have to do a little bit more research first, and then I can do. Then I can uh, do some videos on Docker. Silver to the gold, nice. Congrats. Here, join the Discord. That's our Discord. We have a separate Discord too. For uh, if you guys want to join, I'll link it to you too. It's a, it's a chill server, you know, no programming, nothing programming related. It's just a place to just relax and stuff. So if you guys want to join, you guys can. What's been happening while it's gone? Uh, not much really. You know, we're just uh, just chatting, you know, doing some stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. We have two discords, by the way. Two discords. But the rule on this discord is you cannot ask for programming help. You need to use the codering server because not everyone, because everyone here, they just want to relax. They don't want to talk about programming. It's just a place to just chill. So that's why we have it as a rule. Do not ask for programming help here. Use the uh, the code ring server. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't really uh, you can't really help ignorance. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just how it is sometimes. There we go. Now I see him talking on chat. They're asking... Okay, here's the problem. Look, they're asking you to post it again. You're, you can't expect someone to... You can't expect someone to search for your question that you posted four days ago. And then have them... You can't do that. You need to post your question again. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't do that. Like, if you want someone to help you, you have to provide them with the resources. Like, if you want a doctor to help you... You need to tell them what your symptoms are. You need to tell them, you know, what you've been eating, what you've been doing. They're not going to know right off the bat. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny, though. I don't think he's new to coding. I think they're just new to asking for help. I think that's the issue. Not everyone knows how to properly ask for help and that's how we need to correct them for it. Oh 
What's up? Yeah. 
What time is it right now? Seven, almost 7.30. I'm probably gonna get off at like 7.30, 7.18 right now. I'm just like tidying some things up right now. I won't be streaming tonight because I streamed already. So maybe I'll stream more around this time maybe. It seems like a lot of people seem to be up around this time. So I'll probably stream more at 4 a.m. from now on. That's a, that's a possibility. Stream more in this time then. I usually, like I said, I usually wake up around this time, but. Yeah. Perfect. All right, it's working just fine. All right, so what I'm going to work on tomorrow or later this week, the next time I stream on the next stream, what I'm going to work on is showing all of the jobs that the user have applied to. So that's the whole point of these routes. So you can see the applied jobs. You can see the, the list of jobs. So these are all the jobs that you posted. And then these are all the jobs you, you saved slash bookmarked. And then it's going to show everything in the list with pagination. And when you click on it, it'll take you to the, uh, the route itself. So it'll... There'll be a route right over here. Uh, we'll have like a route, something like route path, jobs, and then job ID. So there's gonna be a little bit tricky jobs. Uh, actually, I'll have to do listing, and then job ID, something like that. So the exact will be true. Component. For now, we'll do jobs page. Yeah, that'll show you the. Uh, So that'll show you the job itself and you can see uh, the actual thing. So how am I going to model it? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about it. It'll just probably be like a simple search, kind of like this. What is this? Uh, it's React. What do you mean in user model itself or reference? What do, what do you mean by model? What, what do you mean by that? Like the user interface or? Not too sure what you mean, Kunal.
All right, have a good one. Take it easy. Yeah, I'm going to get off, so I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to take a break. It's been about, how long have I been streaming for? Three and a half hours. All right, yeah, I'll probably stream tomorrow, maybe the same time. Maybe I'll stream in the, uh, maybe I'll stream twice. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. If you guys are brand new, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you guys are uh, new here, we have a Discord server, so feel free to join that as well. The link is in the description. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also want to give a huge shout out to my channel members once again for joining the ser for joining the uh, the YouTube channel. Again, it's not it's never required, but I really do appreciate it a lot. It keeps me. Uh, Really just makes me really motivated just to continue doing what I do. Really, really appreciate it a lot. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I'll see you guys in my next stream. Peace out.